Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the Chameleon family. So, we are back with another hair video. If you guys are loving these curls, make sure you watch my previous video on how I cheat my wash and go. So this is not a wash and go, guys. Uh, you're gonna have to watch that video to see my routine. But today I wanna talk to all of my low porosity girls or guys um, because if you have low porosity hair, then you know. Just comment down below, I know, if you know, okay? Um, so today I want to kind of share with you guys a few things that I do and that I have researched in order to make low porosity hair thrive. There are things we can do, there are ways we can adapt to in order to get this hair just the way we want it. So it might take a little bit of work, a little bit of extra effort, but in the long run, you're going to thank me. So if you do not know what low porosity hair is, I'm just going to explain it. And if this is your first time here and, and you didn't hear me the first time, make sure you subscribe. Hello, like click the button uh, because you know, we have a lot of value over here. We have a lot of fun. And so come be a part of the family. So. I'm going to read to you guys uh, what low porosity hair is. It means that the structure of your hair does not easily allow moisture to be absorbed into your hair shaft. This makes it hard for water to saturate your hair when being washed. It is also the type of hair that tends to repel moisture so it can be challenging for styling. So um, if you don't know what your porosity is and you're trying to figure that out, if that sounds like how your hair does, then you might be leaning more towards the low porosity side. A good tip um some people like to do the water test where you take the strand out and you put it inside of the water some people feel like that's not accurate for me i feel like the best way to describe if you have low porosity hair when you were in the shower and you have your hair under the water um, if it's taking a long time to absorb into your hair if when you look at your hair you see little water beads on your hair if your hair still looks dry but it's dripping wet you most likely nine times out of ten have low porosity hair and so uh, when it comes to hair styling when it comes to hair health the two things that I find that are very important and that will take your styling and your health up a notch is to know your porosity and to know your density. I really don't find that curl typing um, plays a role because two people can have 3C hair, but one person can be high porosity, one can be low, one person can have a high density, one person can be low, and the way they style is totally different. So just because you have the same hair type as someone does not mean that their routine is going to work for you. So it's really best to know um, how your hair receives moisture, which is the porosity and the density of your hair, meaning how thick, um, how thick your strands are or how many strands you actually have. So I think these tips will definitely help you moving forward in picking the right products and picking um, the right ways to style your hair and so that the frustration is like kind of melted away a little bit. That's what we want. We want easy. We don't want like, you know, a task when it comes to doing your hair. The less manipulation, the better it will be and the more it'll thrive. So. I didn't talk way too much and sometimes y'all be leaving timestamps like this is when the video starts. Look, some people like when I talk, okay? <laughs> so, uh, first things first, you want to steam your hair. When it comes to low porosity, we love the heat over here, okay? So, the more heat, the better. Meaning, when you are deep conditioning, making sure that you are sitting under the dryer. Not just have a plastic cap on your head that is not enough for our hair, okay? We need to really to get that heat going. So, uh, if you have a steamer, a sit under dryer, a hooded little cap, a heat cap, any of those things will work. Also, uh, when you are in the shower, you want to steam your hair in the shower as well. So none of that cold rinse 
stuff that don't work for us okay that is not doing anything good for our hair so you really want to try to turn it up a little bit i mean don't scorch your hair but definitely have it on the warmer side when you are washing your hair when you are conditioning deep conditioning when you are rinsing out and you do not have to cold rinse to seal that is that doesn't apply to us also um you want to be clarifying your hair okay low porosity could be prone to product buildup because be our hair is repelling so much that we tend to overload raise your hand if you are a little heavy-handed when it comes to product because you feel like you're putting it on and you're looking at it and it still looks frizzy it doesn't look tamed yes so you really want to clarify your hair and when i mean clarify i mean shampoo but your scalp only a lot of us are putting the shampoo on our hair and that is just overly drying out our hair as well um so when it comes to clarifying just right up in here in the scalp and then when it rinses down it will clean the rest of your hair uh, you want to be doing this once to twice a month um if you can i like to wash my hair every four to five days and then i do use shampoo twice and then the other two times i will do a cleansing um shampoo or a co-wash but you really want to clarify your hair and keep your strands clean so now when it comes to products you want to be using humectants and if you don't know what they are basically what they do is that they're pretty much like a magnet for moisture to your hair and so that is what we need because our hair just literally does not want to let it in like it's like absolutely not it just wants to be dry i don't know uh, so humectants take the moisture out of the air and then draw it to your hair as a magnet also want to be using more of like hair milks or products that are a little bit lighter on the hair i know for me in the past i always thought that heavier creams um were better for my hair and what they were doing was just sitting on top weighing my hair down sitting on top so i might have got you know that definition or tamed that frizz but there was no movement there was no um my hair couldn't breathe or anything like that and then in the end i really saw that i didn't have longevity and that my hair felt super dry and another tip is to watch your protein moisture balance so for us um certain and i don't want to say everyone but certain people cannot handle high levels of protein when it comes to low porosity hair so because our hair is already repelling moisture and it tends to be on the drier side using too much protein is going to dry your hair out even more um and make your hair a little hard and uh prone to breakage so what you want to do is make sure you are maintaining a good moisture protein balance in order to keep your strands healthy and thriving so a good way for you to do that is just making sure you are looking at your ingredients being cognizant of what you're putting on your hair um, and what ingredients are in your products i know for me for a while if you guys have been around for a long time i was never the person to read the back of any labels as long as it made my curls look good on the outside i i didn't care but essentially that was not me fully taking care of my hair and letting it thrive to its best ability because all these products were doing was just masking it and just sitting on top and making my hair look nice but they weren't keeping my hair healthy and thriving so um i like to you know switch up my deep conditioners every so often where i use one that's just moisturized based and i use one that has a little bit of wheat protein in it um and that way i keep that strength but also keep the moisture being able to come in my hair because just like you can heat train your hair if you've ever heard of heat training where you can straighten your hair and then your curls 
pop right back. You can moisture train your hair when it comes to low porosity. Um, and so it may take some time, but over time you will notice that your hair is receiving moisture and water a lot easier if you maintain these steps. And I noticed for me just switching to some of the products I've been using now. Um, if you guys have seen some of my recent videos, especially shower scenes, my hair the water just melts into my hair and it receives it so well so i am really excited about how i've been able to get a hold on my low porosity and just make it work for me and not the other way around along with that making sure that you are also doing your oil treatments and deep conditioning treatments so um, not only those creams but just doing oil in your scalp or hot oil treatments as well this is a, another great way to kind of train your hair to receive that moisture and I like to use my uh, rejuvenique oil almost every day on my scalp and on my hair um, sometimes I'll do it where I am doing like a hot oil treatment and some days I just kind of put it in and just let it do its thing um, so the key here is just to not overload your hair with um, too many products too many products that are going to be heavy on your hair and making sure that you are trying to bring in as much moisture with those products as you can so um i hope this video was helpful i hope that it gave you a little bit of insight and maybe helped you switch some of the things that you have been doing um also i hope that it kind of opened your eyes to do a little bit more research when it comes to um finding out how to care for your hair and not just looking at how someone styles their hair because they have the same curl pattern um it's really about your hair in particular the porosity um the density um and even the curl pattern i mean i have about like three different curl patterns in my head so if i just follow what every 3b girl does or every 4a girl does it's not going to work i know i have to treat certain sections of my hair different down here is a little is way more low porosity than it is up here and so i have to treat my hair accordingly but that's because i'm doing research and i know what to look for so again thank you guys so much for watching and let me know any video suggestions you want to see down below whether it's hair related whether it's fashion related or whether it is life coaching and spirituality related i would love to get that out for you i did some shopping so i have a few hauls coming up if you are excited about that leave me a comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video peace